what's the crack lads welcome back it is wednesday and we are doing what's coming thursday as we usually do a little preview and hopefully predicting a couple of things that will be coming so we're kind of into uncharted waters we still have the national attackers ongoing i'll get to that in a second but first and foremost yes this seems to be a new schedule change here we touched on it in the live stream on monday but it seems that the new season and the brand new update is not going to be coming until the 13th of june now so the end date before and the end time was going to be on the 6th of the 6th so all of these campaigns and the players and the nominating contracts and everything that you see here seems to have now been pushed until the 13th of the 6th whether that means that these are still going to end and be removed and just not be replaced until the 13th or they're just going to be extended until the 13th so what i mean by that is with this schedule change here if we go into the contract here and we go to our nominating contract players you will see here that this speedster is going to be over in 11 hours so whether they're going to extend that by six or seven days up until the 13th of june or they're going to remove everything and just leave it blank I would say that they're probably going to add little bits and pieces that they haven't mentioned here. But yeah, that's going to be something to look at there as well. Because all of these are gone. This is gone. This is gone. And the Speedsters is gone. On top of that as well, Beckenbauer goes next week as well. So that seems to tie in that they had originally planned for the next big update and the next big season. Which is going to tie into the Euro content, which we'll get to in a sec. That seems to be the new date, the 13th of the 6th. Because all of these are going to be ending. Everything that you see here every single thing that we're going through is going to be over in seven days time literally every single pack and selection that you have here these epics and the monday content seems to exist in its own little bubble that they always add the big time boosters and the epic legend cards on the monday they'll probably stay the same pattern and the same rinse and repeat um but these are all going to be gone every single one of these packs that you see including the beckham bar there as well on top of that right we also have on top of that we do have this pack that's still ongoing that's going to be gone in seven days time but the managers are still going to be there except zico is going to be gone so whether they replace zico or not it seems to be that the next big update is going to be coming within the next two weeks that there's going to be a big content refresh and a new season is going to be kicking off we already know a new season is going to be kicking off because on top of that a new season is always tied to the match pass the objectives and of course to the e-football phase as well so you can see here the sixth to the sixth that is when that is ending so that ties into all the contracts and of course the objectives here as well that you see most of those are ending within the next day so you can see there by tomorrow they'll all be gone including the seventh anniversary one which was this current campaign and the speedsters campaign as well which was bring the energy on top of that we still also have with this with the match pass if you guys have not got to division one yet um, that will be resetting as well so you go back down to division three or four depending on your ranking but we're in division two as you see here on our other profile this is our free to play account um with our squad and we have this is our 100 free to play squad on our other account we're division one um but honestly i do feel like that with the phase ending here as well this is going to be something else to look at when this new content comes so it seems to be that they're going to be like you know really kind of spreading it out over two weeks without taking the game offline like that they used to do before they're going to keep the events in right so on to what could potentially come and this is going to be a slightly longer what's coming towards the video we have these national teams going to be ongoing for four days which will tie in with the monday and also this national teams against the ai the rest are going to be gone so all of these are going to be gone tomorrow as well um so i think that's when we'll get the replacement content tomorrow right now on to what we potentially could be getting is it the end of the player of the week we have not got any confirmation watch this be now that konami will tweet out a tease for player of the weeks or special players tomorrow but as of right now when i'm recording this video and apologies if they do bring out this but on twitter every wednesday they tease player of the weeks obviously all the seasons are over now the champions league have been played will we get one last vinny card will we start to recycle into euro content with the cards or will we get a re-release or new release of some legends that have not been out yet right will they kind of like start spreading these out across the thursday and not just monday but player of the week looks to be ending that's kind of the pattern that it is going on right now i want to talk about pez 2016 and of course the euro e-football 2020 content as well which was on pez 2020 this is when konami had the official license and they were the official euro game they were the official uefa video game as you see here for eFootball pez 2020 and for pez 202016 pez 202016 yeah pez 2016 right so they had the license for these you can see there on the box art with gareth bale 
man good memories with that game honestly i really did like that version of the game they had a lot of uh, stuff tied into my club right so this was like some of the content that they had before in pez 2020 um this was on ign's website that i found this but this was on the official konami website as well where it was experiencing the uefa euro 2020 you had your match day which was basically you could play whatever matches were ongoing that day you could play in those there was obviously going to be the logging campaign predict the winner campaign there was cards that tied into the player of the weeks within EU, uh, the euro 2020 competition there was national team legends and there was national team selection that you could play as well so there was a lot of stuff tied in with that across all platforms right this is something that I've done up myself. Could we get some of this eFootball 2024 as potential new content? I mean, it goes without saying we're going to have a login campaign. That is that is the easiest prediction of all time, right? Will we get new European national boosters? Yes, we definitely will. Puyol is in the database. We've got a couple of other players that have been released already, such as Torres, such as those guys that are, you know, from France, Ribery, um, Torres from, from Spain, um, from certain moments within their their careers okay will we get national team selection where we'll be able to pick a squad and go on and earn stuff in competitions or will it be solely tied to events also will we get player of the week uh cards so for example if if you guys remember the player packs that were released before you had portugal pack you had an england pack which was like a pack of of 10 players or 11 players it was a full squad and there were some really nice cards will we see those released as full packs again that remains to be seen and then also on top of that as well boys we do have as well as that i do feel like when you look back at this pez 2020 content i do feel now with all the content that you see here i do feel like that the player of the weeks they'll need to refresh that once it comes back because honestly i do feel that there is potential in the euro stuff i know that they don't have the official license but some of these card packs that they could release with full squads, I mean, they've done it time and time again over the last couple of months at different periods during the campaigns for eFootball. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't do this. Me personally, I would love an online style event that runs for the entirety of eFootball uh, campaign, the new campaign with the Euro that co coincides with the Euros, right? That you're able to pick a squad similar to the events at the moment. They already have it set up in the, in the new event. But you pick a squad and you're able to filter in new cards that you get. And then obviously there'll be big prizes at the end of it. And also just using the official squads as well. I know that they're not officially licensed because obviously, you know, EA have the, the license for the Euros uh, officially this year. But they can still bring out card packs and stuff like that, you know. Um, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue. But let me know what you guys think. Obviously, I think the next 14 days are going to be, you know, probably important. Um, but also, I think it's going to set the scene for what we're going to get before we get eFootball 2025. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos. We'll be back Thursday checking everything out in a brand new live stream. It's going to be good. We'll check out everything. Let's see what we do have. I don't think gameplay updates are going to come until next week. Um, but yeah, we'll get into all of that on tomorrow's live stream. All right, boys.